Hello everybody, Jean here. For those of you that like the longer format videos, this one's for you. We're returning to a site in Sarius Vallis in a region called Argaia Planitia. I discovered these anomalies many years ago and I decided to re-upscale them using Topaz Gigapixel. This high-rise photograph acquired on the 20th of June 2007 is called High Thermal Inertia and Mixed surface textures. We're looking at a resolution of 25.2 centimeters per pixel and I downloaded the JP2 black and white map projected file 1.3 gigabytes in size. This one is huge. The images I'll be showing you are cropped from this JP2. And there's a look at a crop from the low res black and white and the anomalies we're looking at are some of these white objects that litter the site. Located right there in the middle of the image, folks, at 56 degrees, 42 minutes south, 55 degrees, 45 minutes west. As always, I'm including a scale indicator you can use to give you an idea of how large these objects are. So this one over here we'll be zooming in on is about 12 meters in diameter and it's got a neat crescent shape to it and a small spherical object right there in its center this is very geometric and symmetrical folks this one is very very intriguing Right, then we're looking at the megalithic block. I'd say this is about 14 meters in length. Neat right angles to it, rounded corner, and then a small protrusion in its center. Let's zoom in on the item over there. It's about 8 meters across, and it's got like a shield shape to it. Also very symmetrical and right there in its center we have that dome-like feature. Right let's have a look at this. It's about eight meters across and it's got these weird depressions in it or holes. Those two are triangular in shape in a rectangular one over here in a shape of a triangle that there looks almost like a skull not that it is folks but that is very interesting right let's have a look at this piece that there's about 15 meters in length it's got this neat carved out area to the right nice arc to it and then a small little triangle depicted on the bottom left it's also a very symmetrical shape right let's have a look at the item over there about 10 meters across and it's got a neat hole in it with this lip on the bottom right hand side that's very intriguing right let's have a look at that long block over there folks that there's about 14 meters in length neat carved out area and a brighter part covering the one side and then these smaller items arranged in a row spaced evenly apart right let's have a look at this thing that's about 5 10 15 so that's about 18 meters across and the dome like part in its center is about 5 to 6 meters in diameter Look how these smaller parts are arranged around that dome. 
that looks very artificial right let's have a look at these two items the block is about 10 meters in length it's got a protrusion right there in its center with smaller parts arranged along the center line around it and we've got some stacking going on here on the larger item right let's have a look at those two the smaller block is about six to eight meters in length and it's got a small protrusion right there in its center right let's have a look at these anomalies to the right the block of has about six to eight meters in length with a neat hole in it check out the hole on this item it's got a small disc on the inside and then this part sticking off the side with right angles to it and then it's also covered in a thin bright material seems to be eroded away on the sides right, check this out this item is about 12 meters in length it's also got a shield like shape to it so very symmetrical it's got two rows parallel to the center line and those smaller items are spaced equally apart right check this out it's got a strange eggshell shape to it cracked eggshell check that out folks so I've got layers here three layers let's check out the small block on that one this is about 10 meters in length it's got a neat bright block in its center the disc highlighted there is about let's see 5 10 15 15 meters plus in diameter neat disc shaped it and it's got a smaller rectangular part in its center this piece is about eight meters long it's got an item on the top right there in its center as well the smaller part is also symmetrical right let's check out the strange item highlighted there to the top right at this carved out area and then it's got like a rounded shape on the inside with a small part on the top this is also intriguing the right angles to this protruding part on the left hand side right this piece let's see 5 10 15 so this is about 18 meters across neat part there in its center and then on either side of it we've got those two smaller parts in a triangular shape and then a triangle part over here to the right it looks like it's hollow inside there very intriguing so you could easily walk in there this thing's massive and then the mangled mess in the center of this photograph 
I don't know what to make of this, folks. Multiple parallel thin parts over here. Squiggly patterned this piece on the left. Looks like a grill or a grid. Maybe a vent. Who knows, folks? <laughs> That's very interesting. And as we always do, let's have a look at that site in Google Earth, Mars. Right, so we have the valley over here. Ogaya Planitia outlined over here to the left. Going around. And then the site we're looking at. High thermal inertia and mixed surface textures. Right, let's have a look at those anomalies briefly in summary. So many of you. And then we'll have a look at some of those where I previously upscaled them using PhotoZoom Pro 7. And with that said, we've reached the end of the presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel if you haven't, that way you'll know when I upload my next video. I look forward to reading your comments. As always, thanks for watching.